In today's training, I'm going to walk you through how to integrate your Hawk sections into Canvas. We are pleased to offer a synchronization tool, which allows you to link your class roster and grades between Hawks and Canvas, as well as create direct Hawks assignment links within Canvas. We also offer a single sign-on tool, which allows students to access their Hawks accounts directly from within your Canvas course. If you are new to using Hawks, please reach out to your training and support specialist if you'd like to integrate Hawks within your LMS. Your LMS administrator will need to make our links available to you within Canvas. Now to get started, you'll log into your Canvas account and you'll navigate to your course. You'll then select modules from the menu on the left and we will then add a module. We recommend naming the module Hawks Learning so that is clear to your students. And then we will add that module. And to that module, we will add our two external tools. So we'll first change this from assignment to external tool. And we'll first select the Hawks Learning Sync tool and add item. We'll then click that gray plus sign again, and then add the Hawks Learning Single Sign-On tool. Once we have both tools listed, we will actually publish this module so that the students can access the single sign-on link, but we're going to unpublish the sync tool since that is just for you as an instructor. Now students can use this single sign-on link to access their Hawks account directly through Canvas. So this will create their account for them. It will give them temporary access to get started in the course and it will enroll them into your section. So they can click right here and their account will automatically be created. There is another way that students will be able to access Hawks directly through Canvas and I'll show you that towards the end. We'll first wanna take a few steps in the sync tool uh, before we can see that. So now to get started with linking your section, you're gonna click right on the sync tool. And now to access the sync tool, you'll first need to provide your teach login information. So here I will select that. If you have not yet set up your Teach account, please reach out to your training and support specialist for assistance with that. Now you are going to select the Hawk section that corresponds with the Canvas course you're working with. If you do need to select a different product or a different instructor, if you are a gradebook administrator, for example, you can use these drop down menus here to select a different product or instructor. Note that there is a checkbox down here below your sections list where you can choose to enable the students tab. You do not need to select this option if you have enabled the single sign on tool for students as they will be linking themselves when they click on the tool. The students tab is most often used for troubleshooting later in the semester and can be enabled at a later time through the setup button in the top right corner of the sync tool as you'll see in a moment. For now we'll click continue and we will now see the sync tool. And up in the top right corner, there is that setup button that I mentioned, but again, you shouldn't need to enable that students tab until you are doing some troubleshooting later in the semester and your training and support specialist can certainly guide you through that. I'll now give you a quick overview of each of these tabs here within the sync tool. What you'll be using most heavily at the start of the semester are the assignments tab and the schedule sync tab. These other two tabs you won't really need to access very much, but I will still give a quick explanation of each. Now under the assignments tab, this is where you are going to link your assignments. So that way a column is created in your grading center for each assignment for those grades to sync into. And this will also be where we're creating those direct links to the assignments right within Canvas. So what I recommend doing here is selecting all of your assignments, but deselecting the assignment groups. So you'll notice that we have the assignment groups from your Hawks gradebook in dark green and the individual assignments in light green. If you want to create those direct assignment links, you can just select those individual assignments. You can then group them and weight them according to your assignment groups separately within Canvas so that it is correctly calculating right within Canvas. Sometimes if you do both your assignment groups and your individual assignments, you end up with some doubling up of the grades. So we want to pick either one or the other. If you do just want those assignment group averages, feel free to just select the dark green, but that will take away that option for students to use the direct links to access Hawks assignments. 
So for this example, I'm going to just select those individual assignments and deselect my assignment groups. Note that create LMS column is the default option in the actions column. I'm now going to click sync. I will then confirm and those assignments are now being linked. So when we do have those direct assignment links created, they are going to show up here under the assignments tab, which we'll visit at the end before wrapping up. And here you'll just have your confirmation page and from here we can move on. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump down to the schedule sync tab. As I said, this is the other tab that you'll want to make sure you go to at the beginning when you are setting up your course. This is where you can enable auto sync. If you select this option here, sync grades to LMS daily, each day automatically overnight, your grades will sync from Hawks over to Canvas. So as students complete any assignments within those 24 hours, they will then sync over the next um, overnight so that they're available the next day. All right, so all you need to do is check this one checkbox and that will automatically happen. Now, um, we do have this tab here for assignment grades. This is where you can manually sync your students' grades. So if you had your students linked after they've clicked the single sign-on link, they would show up here along with all of your synced assignments and you could manually select which students and which assignments to link. Since you are likely going to enable that schedule sync, you probably won't need to come to the assignment grades tab very often unless there is a troubleshooting scenario, um, such as with a student that is unlinked. Final grades is where you are able to sync final grades from Hawks to Canvas. So those would be the final calculated grades. I recommend that you disregard this tab. If you're going to be syncing over those individual assignments, grouping them in Canvas and having Canvas calculate your final grades, you shouldn't need this final grades tab at all. So again, in summary, when you are setting up your course, when you are linking it from Hawks to Canvas, you'll wanna make sure to link your assignments, choosing either those light green individual assignments or those dark green assignment groups. And then you will want to enable that schedule sync. So you really should not have to return to the sync tool once you do those steps at the beginning. Unless you do add any additional assignments throughout the semester, then you will need to just come to this assignments tab, sync those specific assignments, and you'll be able to move on from there. If you do come to the assignments tab and you notice that you don't see all of your assignments, just go ahead and change this results 40 to show all, and that will help you see all of your assignments. All right, now that we have linked the section, let's go ahead over to the assignments tab from here on the left. And this is where we will see those direct assignment links that we created. So here you'll see they're all automatically grouped under a Hawks group. So here we have all of those lessons and we have those quiz, that quiz and that unit exam. I recommend that you break this up, you add additional groups, and then you can mirror your assignment groups from Hawks here. And then you do have the option to give those assignment groups weight. That way you can mirror your setup in Hawks and have those grades calculate properly. Um, one note about these direct links, these will take students directly to the landing page for this assignment. So they can use either these links or that single sign-on link to access their Hawks assignments. We'll take them to the same account, but this will take them straight to an assignment versus that single sign-on tool will take them to their dashboard. So either way, these links will take them to the same place, create the account when they click on them the very first time, and they can continue work from there. We'll now just go to the grade section, so that way you can see those columns that have been created here. And so here you'll see each of those assignments have been given a column here. This is where those grades will sync to each night overnight, and that way you can track those here. So those will sync over. And you do have the option to update any of the ordering or grouping again as you'd like. All right, so if you do have any additional questions or if you would like a more in-depth training of our Canvas synchronization tools, please feel free to reach out to your dedicated training and support specialist or email us at training at hawkslearning.com.